The film begins with our main character Chris, reminding us that having luck is very crucial in life. People do not believe in luck because they are terrified of failure. In a tennis match, the ball will eventually hit the net. Now, it could fall on your or your opponent's side. This is where your luck comes into play. If you're lucky, you might win. If not, you might lose. Chris is a highly accomplished tennis player, but he is bored of traveling to different countries on tour, so he has chosen to retire and pursue a career as a teacher. He lands a job at an upscale club in London. He now has a wealthy student named Tom, and they are good friends as well. Tom informs Chris that he enjoys opera, but has no one who can accompany him. Chris then admits that he, too, enjoys opera, and the two bond over their shared hobby so Tom invites Chris. When they go to the opera, they discover that Tom's entire family is already there. Tom's parents and his sister Chloe. Chloe is Tom's older sister. She meets Chris for the first time and gets a positive impression from him. Tom tells Chris that his sister enjoyed having him the other day and has now invited him to visit her parents. Chris goes over to his house, where they play tennis. Chloe joins them, and Chris and Chloe spend time together getting to know each other. Chloe learns that Chris is from a humble background, but he worked his way up to become a professional tennis player and is now well off. So far, Chloe has a positive impression of Chris. She then invites Chris to attend an art exhibition. There, he meets Nola Rice, who strikes him as quite lovely. She is a skilled tennis table player, and no one can defeat her that day. Chris then faces Nola and defeats her. Nola then begins flirting with Chris, claiming he is too aggressive, and Chris inquires whether she has ever been told that her lips are too sensual. During the flirting, Tom enters and introduces Chris to Nola, informing him that she is his fiance. Nola is a professional actress, which Tom's mother dislikes, but she has to accept because Tom adores Nola. Chris now has a lot of spare time to spend with Chloe because he doesn't have many students, and she enjoys it. She wants to help Chris, so she talks to her father about him and asks him if they have any open position. They can give it to Christopher. Her father agrees, but when Chloe informs Chris about it, he does not seem to like the idea claiming that he knows nothing about business and that he will be unsuitable for the job. Chloe, on the other hand, tells him that she has faith in him and believes he will succeed. That night, Chris and Chloe have a double date with Nola and Tom. Chris becomes fascinated in Nola and wants to learn more about her, so he inquires about her films. Nola, on the other hand, informs him that she has only received one commercial and has not been given any opportunity since. She adds that she is pondering Chris decides to take a job with Chloe's father's company. One day, as they are hanging out, Chris offers Chloe a DVD. They intend to have a pleasant evening together. Chloe informs Chris that Tom and Nola had invited them over for supper, but she declined because she wanted to hang out with Chris. When Chris hears Nola's name, he suggests they can hang out at any time and should go to dinner with Tom and Nola. Chris is now interested in Nola. They attend the dinner, but Nola is not present that night. It turns out she has an audition and is apprehensive at home. The following day, Chris is out when he runs into Nola. She is going to attend to her audition and is very apprehensive about it. Chris tells her she'll do great. Chris then accompany her to Nola's audition location. When Nola comes out, she tells him that the audition went poorly, and Chris tells her that she needs a drink to calm herself down. They then go somewhere to have a drink together. Nola confesses that her father abandoned her when she was a child, and she has always aspired to be someone important. That is why she is pursuing a career in acting. Chris then questions Nola about her and Tom's connection. She informs him that they met at a party. Tom liked her immediately away and he used to send her a lot of gifts and pay her a lot of attention. Tom proposed to her, and they're now engaged. Nola says she has been frustrated lately since Tom's mother dislikes her. Chris then claims that he believes she does not like him either. Nola informs him that Chloe's parents like him and are already discussing their marriage. She says that Chloe previously had a very horrible boyfriend and that Chris is much nicer than that guy. She begs Chris not to screw up. Chris asks her how he is going to screw up, and Nola answers by having an affair with her. On a weekend, they are all together when Tom's mother and Nola have a disagreement. Nola becomes enraged during the argument and rushes out while it rains outside. When Chris notices Nola leaving in the storm, he follows her, and the two become close. Nola warns him that it is not a smart idea because they could end up doing something dumb. Chris professes his feelings for Laura, and they engage in passionate sex in a wheat field. Nola treats this as an accident out of guilt. Chris, on the other hand, wishes to maintain a hidden relationship. However, Nola informs him that whatever they did was a huge mistake because both of them are linked with other people. After that, Chris marries Chloe. They go out to look at a wonderful house to live in, but Chris thinks they won't be able to afford it. Chloe says her father will help them out. After a few days, while playing tennis, Chris learns that Tom has broken up with Nola. He claims that he left her because his mother wants him to marry a relative of his. Chris makes multiple attempts to locate and contact Nola, 
but is unsuccessful. Chloe and Chris, on the other hand, are currently attempting to get pregnant. Chloe hopes to start a family as soon as feasible. Chris isn't a fan of the plan, but eventually agrees. By contrast, Tom marries his cousin. One day, Chris runs into Nola. She informs him that she intended to leave for a while, but is now back. Chris asks her where she lives and whether they can meet up sometime. However, Nola tells him that he is currently married. Chloe arrives in the midst of their chat. She finds chatting to Nola awkward, so she leaves. Chris then proceeds to ask Nola for her phone number. Nola hesitates, but eventually gives him her contact. The next thing we know, they are having sex. Chris begins to visit her house on a regular basis, and Nola's maid gets to know him. One day, while Chris is eating dinner with Tom and Chloe, a friend approaches him and claims she saw Chris and called him but Chris did not answer. He then mentions where he saw Chris, which is Nola's town. Chris claims it wasn't him, and Chloe isn't very concerned, so Chris gets out of it easily. Chris and Nola continue to have an affair. Chris tells Nola that he is unhappy with Chloe and that he intends to leave her. Nola repeatedly asks Chris to tell Chloe the truth and leave her, but Chris claims he will do so soon enough. Chris goes out for the weekend with his entire family, and there he receives a call from Nola. She tells him she wants to see him immediately away, but Chris says he is unable to meet her. Chris tries to invent an excuse to Chloe to avoid spending time with the family, but it does not succeed. Nola calls again at night, this time informing Chris that she is pregnant. The next day, Chris visits her. Nola proposes he divorce Chloe and start a new life together. Chris is really troubled these days, and Chloe notices both his stress and his distraction. One day, she adds that she believes she cannot conceive, which is why Chris has been acting this way. Chris assures her that this is not true. In the following scene, Chris meets one of his pals and informs him about all that has been going on in his life recently. He informs him that he cannot leave Chloe because she has given him a great career and his standard of living has increased only due of her and her family. He devises a strategy to avoid Nola. He informs her that they are leaving for a month on vacation and when they return, he would tell Chloe everything. In truth, he's going nowhere. One day, Chloe's father visits Chris and Chloe at their home and gives Chris a significant promotion. Nola, on the other hand, repeatedly calls Chris, but he ignores her. Nola becomes enraged and heads to Chris's office. She becomes enraged as she sees Chris emerge from the office just as she is about to enter. They get into a heated argument, and Chris informs her that they returned early and that he was about to phone her. Nola then warns him that if he does not have the courage to confront his wife, she would reveal everything. Chris is currently in big danger. He can't sleep at night thinking about the disaster he's made. His father-in-law owns a large collection of guns since he enjoys hunting. One day, Chris steals one of his firearms. When Chloe tries to open Chris's backpack at night, he pulls it away from her because it contains the pistol. To divert her focus away from the bag, he informs her that they would be watching a play tomorrow. The next day, Chris phones Nola to inform her that he has told Chloe everything and that he would meet her at her place at 7 p.m. He travels to Nola's building and gets admission into her neighbor, Mrs. Eastby's apartment, where he shoots and kills her before staging a burglary and takes jewelry and drugs. During this, a man knocks on the door, but Chris does not answer, and he leaves after a bit. Chris is now waiting for Nola to arrive, as he told her they would meet at 7. As Nola returns, he shoots her on the stairway. Chris then takes a taxi to the theater to see a show with Chloe. Scotland Yard investigates the crime, concluding that it was most likely perpetrated by a drug addict who stole money. The next day, when the murder is covered in the media, Chris returns the shotgun and announces that Chloe is pregnant. Detective Mike Banner asks Chris to an interview on the murder. Before going in to see the detectives, Chris dumps Mrs. Eastby's jewelry and narcotics into the river, but a ring accidentally bounces on the railing and falls to the concrete. Chris lies about his relationship with Nola in the police station, but Banner surprises him with her diary, which has numerous references to him. He confesses to his affair, but denies any connection to the murder and requests that the investigators not involve him further in the inquiry, because because knowledge of the affair could break his marriage, just as he and his wife are expecting a baby. He tells the detective that he adores his wife and doesn't want to hurt her. However, the next morning, his partner disproves his notion. Dowd appears and informs him that a drug addict was discovered killed on the streets. When they checked his pockets, they found Mrs. Eastby's ring. That single ring saves Chris. Banner and Dowd consider the case closed and will not pursue any further inquiry. Chloe gives birth to a newborn boy named Terence, who is blessed with luck rather than greatness by his uncle. This is where the film finishes.